Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Uh, it, I know it's like super old school. That is but old it's school. So I love it. Easy. It's pretty fast. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you get done, and they're working on their math skills at the same time. That's at least what I tell myself. I will have to check out Yahtzee. Oh, my God, it's so easy. And, like, yeah. my mom kills us at Yahtzee. Does she really? She'll roll, like, three Yahtzees. And my husband, too. Really? Yeah, and the kids are like, ugh. Because they <laughs> will not zero out Yahtzee, Yahtzee, man. They'll zero out everything else to keep the hope alive for Yahtzee. <laughs> All right, how about Monopoly? Do you guys play Monopoly? I do That's love a... Monopoly. Now that Kaylee can kind of read yeah. a little bit, it's yeah. a little easier. Right. Okay. <laughs> so what's your favorite token? Token. You know, it sounds silly. I always kind of like the shoe. I don't the know shoe. why, even though it's like, it's not a pretty shoe, I just kind of liked it. I like the iron. Oh, there you go. I, like I don't know. <laughs> three, three decades old pieces of the popular Monopoly game won't get a chance to pass go again. Hasbro has revealed that the next generation of the game will include three new tokens, a T-Rex, a rubber ducky, and a penguin. So to make room for those new pieces, the iconic thimble, the boot, oh, and the wheelbarrow. That gotten the boots. My boots gone. Gone. Millions of voters weighed in on which tokens they wanted to see in future versions and some of the tokens that didn't make the cut include a winking emoji and a hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> All right. We have a great lineup on NBC tonight. First up at 8 is The Voice. The blind auditions are over and the battle rounds are starting. That means the four coaches are enlisting some extra help to advise and mentor their vocalists. Tune in tonight to see who each coach has chosen. Then it's the new NBC drama Taken at 10. So on The Voice, as we mentioned, the blind auditions are over and the battlegrounds start, which I love. I love uh, Adam Levine has brought on John Legend. Oh, to offer so advice on his competitors. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? And for Gwen Stefani's team, that meant bringing in legendary singer Celine Dion. So Celine Dion has apparently been a fan of the show for a long time, but Dion says she had to learn not to overdo it in the coaching of the singers. It's really, really, really hard to just hear all we have to say. Try this. Uh, can you push... Just, just don't make it so breathy. Can you just, like... S make a little something, but not the head voice, chest voice. I w just hearing myself say, repeating that <laughs> to you today, I have a headache. There's no substitute for really working mm. and practicing and getting better. Um, like, it doesn't just happen. Everyone thinks, you know, oh, I've been naturally gifted with this talent. But it's not enough to be talented. Nope. You have to work on it. And uh, particularly in this setting, when you're trying to uh, compete, all right, for more on these awesome coaches and talented performers, tune in tonight.